Come on, find a bird. Let's go, Gump. Hey, it's Tony from Mint Hunting. Oh, we're running out of time on our pheasant hunting season here. Even though we did get a late start, it's about the third trip we've taken. So let's see if we can find some birds here with two days left in the season and let's go. Well, today we're bringing the old trusty rusty Remington 870, 12 gauge, a little bit more firepower it in in that 20 gauge so get a little longer shot we got a better chance there you are so what we're doing is making a trip through the cover here and hopefully we're driving birds out to the open field and then hopefully we can pick them up it's about the only choice we have just a single dog and a single hunter because once we get them out in the open then gump can run them down and i'll try to as you can tell gump's not a polished dog i don't run any beepers or collars on him we just work it out on natural i guess he does what he does, and I do what I do, and may not be the best, but we're not full-time peasant hunters anyway, so, and just let the, the natural instincts of this German short hair pointer and goofball do, do what he does naturally with his nose. Just a walk in the field for the both of us. As long as we find each other by the end of the, the day, it's all good. He has his adventure and I have mine and we share it. One way or another. It is what it is. I know one thing, I wore the wrong pants today. Plum thickets hurt. It's like right now, I don't even have a clue where he's at. So I just have to listen to him. I'm sure he knows where I'm at. Smells me. So that's that's a good thing. Try not to overthink anything. What do you smell, boy? Huh? You got a bird? Huh? Got a bird somewhere? Huh? Come on, find a bird. So basically right now we're just going to do circles. <laughs> it's good cover. There should be some birds in here. I just hate going through the plum thickets in my cheapo pants here. <sighs> Hopefully that'll be the last bunch. Come on, find a bird, man. Put me through all that. There, I knew it. Feels very quaily. Find a bird. Feeling the quail. Not very good with this 12 gauge and the quail. Definitely picking up scent. All right, Gump, they're running on you. Oh, 
find them. Go Gump. Let's go Gump. Oh. Son of a Missed. That was fast. That boy's running. <laughs> Good boy. That's my bad. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Maybe. He's gone. I needed you up here. Get that old buddy. <sighs> you had him. Good boy. Good boy. That was my bad. Why he was whistling. Yep, yep, it's gone. That was fast. That was about the fastest pheasant, not wind dated, I've ever seen. That boy knows what he's doing when he's flying. All right, my dog is just going nuts. He just didn't get up to him in time. He gone. Come on, let's go. What happened? Huh? What happened? Let's go. Find another bird. That one's on me, I guess. Crazy shot. Did everything right except didn't get a point on him. Well, he's seen one. We're gonna see some, we're gonna get some action here. I know it now. Relax. You got a pattern. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Got one. Made up for it. Good boy. Good boy. Find the other one. All right, we got one more. Huh? Got one more. Got another one. Find a bird. That was a hard one to ID. Good boy. Whoa. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's make sure. Come on. He's coupled up. He's down. All right. Right here. Nope, you didn't get him. I got him. Right here, Gump. 
There we go. There we go, yeah. All right. Hey, boy. Got one. Got another bird. Oh, yeah, late season. All right. I'm going to have to get him. Time could be any worse, boy. Well, boy, what do you want? Just making sure that you're alive, because the uh, ambulance is going to Oh, well, that's probably for this rooster I just shot. You want to hit your FaceTime. Hit your FaceTime video. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just shot him. <laughs> Just before you called. Oh, he's pretty old. He's got, eh, he's about a year and a half. So there you go. We, I missed one earlier, so that's one out of two for today. And the gump's going nuts. So we're going to get after some more, okay? Okay. All right. Talk to you later. I'm fine. All right. Goodbye. Okay, bye. All right, guy. All right, let's go find another one, buddy. Come on. All right, so we're gonna circle back around, sun to our back, head towards the truck. We're done. We went one for one for two. So can't really complain about that other than the, that first shot was just crazy fast for a pheasant. And then I just took two wild shots just because it's the end of the season. So that was that was a very wary bird. But we got enough to look at that other one who's right in the sun. And I saw some tail feathers and I just let her rip, man. And that's all I could do. And uh, we got that bird. So, you know. It's January, oh, 29th. Two more days left in the season. So I think we're going to go ahead and hit them, hit them both hard tomorrow and the following day and see, unless I decide I got a turkey permit to fill. So got some decisions to make tomorrow morning, what I want to do. Maybe I'll get after a turkey at least one of these two days and, and see how we go or go hunt turkeys in the morning and try for more pheasants in the evening. So. So we're going to go with that. Gump had a good time. Nice long walk. Me too. Worked up a good sweat. And uh, we want to keep things all legal. Even if we see a bird right now, we ain't going to get them. So, you know, so that's what it's all about here is that guy getting, getting out and getting some birds in his nostrils. So he had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Even though I missed one. Wish I would have got them, but that's just the way it goes. So, and you got some movement out here besides, it might be a rabbit. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a coyote or a coon or something. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put this back in my head in case it's something we're shooting at. All right. Look, right here. Here. Hey, hey, you look so sad. Happy? Give me a paw. Give me, give me a paw. Give me a paw. Okay. 